there might be a problem with the in-display fingerprint sensor from the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. <gasps> Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Zach Talks Pixel, your source for everything Pixel and Google ecosystem. Yesterday, Monday, October 25th, we finally saw the embargo lift on people's videos for the software and the cameras and the video and whatnot from the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. And with that, we saw some people pointing out some limitations or issues that may, they may be having with these devices. Now, keep in mind that the street date, the final release date of these devices is October 28th. That's this coming Thursday. That means that Google can still push out a software update or something to fix them or whatnot. But what the issue is, is basically the under display or optical fingerprint sensor unlocking the device. That's the only way you can unlock it unless you wanna use a pin or something like that. It's a little bit slow. There is no face ID or uh, anything like solely like uh, Google's used before. So a lot of people are using the fingerprint sensor there to unlock. But don't just take my word for it. I reached out to a few of my creator friends and here are their experiences from their videos using the in-display or the optical fingerprint sensor on the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro. First up, we got one of the OGs on Tech YouTube, Mr. Jeff Springer, let's see what he has to say. The fingerprint sensor on this thing is not, not great. And if you actually look how long it takes for it to open, it's quite slow by comparing this fingerprint sensor to the S21 Ultra. And another problem with this fingerprint sensor, uh, at least for me, I haven't found that it actually works with the display completely off. Um, I have always on display turned on, but if you actually have the display, that's actually why I turned always on display on. I don't always use it, but if you have the display turned completely off, uh, the fingerprint sensor doesn't appear to work. Whereas on the S21 Ultra, it does. So kind of an annoying thing. Uh, this is probably the thing that bothered me the most is the fingerprint scanner on this phone because it is quite slow and coming from an S21 Ultra or even the side mounted scanner on the Z Fold 3, it's kind of a problem. Next up, let's listen to my bud here, Tech Odyssey, Adam. Let's see what he has to say about this. The only other area that's kind of a ding for me is the fingerprint sensor. It's like everything in this phone is like flagship. It's like this whole phone is a Bentley and then they got like a 2014 Kia Optima fingerprint sensor and put it in here. So let me show you. Fingerprint sensor, it's kind of on the slow side Sometimes it takes, sometimes it takes like a reasonable amount of time. And then you can see like right there, it's just like, why in the world does it take so long? The OnePlus is faster. The Samsung is faster. Every phone I've ever used that's been a flagship phone over the last couple of years has a faster and better, like, look at that. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it's doing behind the scenes, but it's very inconsistent. Sometimes it takes seconds to work. Sometimes it works in like half a second and it seems like it's okay. I don't know. I'm hoping that we'll get better with software enhancements moving forward, but on launch, I gotta give it a ding there. And it doesn't have facial recognition. I don't understand that. I really don't. They ditched the physical fingerprint sensor. They put the one under the screen. And next up, one of the guys that's probably had the device the longest, Mr. Scott Peachy of Technically Speaking. However, there is one thing that I do not like from the performance perspective, and it's the in-screen fingerprint scanner. The in-screen fingerprint scanner is, in my opinion, it could be a little bit faster when compared to other devices. I think software updates will make it faster and it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but it's just something that I noticed. It's just a little bit slower in comparison to others. If I had to give this phone a knock, it would be on the in-screen fingerprint scanner because I don't like really any of them to be honest, regardless of phone manufacturer. And last year we got digital slang. I was on his show last night, a live stream that he does over there once in a while. And we were talking a little bit about it and you know, here's the results. Let me ask you this, cause I need to get some clarification here. I'm sure I can look it up. I'm gonna ask you anyway, cause I'm sure you got a reviewer guide. The fingerprint sensor, people are saying it's a little slower than what they're used to from say coming from like a Samsung, true or false well, in your experience? It's true. Is it an optical or is yes, it a- Yes, it's an optical. It is an optical. Yes. But as yes. an optical, it should be faster than. What's the other one? Ultrasonic. Ultrasonic, that's a, that's a Samsung thing, yeah. Yeah. Whenever I use the fingerprint sensor and I just use one imprint, right? You know how you can yeah. multiple fingerprints on there? Yeah. Would you call it uncomfortably, like, no. like limiting? No. Slow? No. 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 Okay, I, don't so have a, I don't have a problem with the speed of it. 
By the way, the did you make- I have the problem I have with it is it doesn't always work. What happens is when I just use one fingerprint, put one fingerprint in and mm. just try and use that, it doesn't work. Mm. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I added two fingerprints on the right hand, two fingerprints on the left hand. Yeah. I haven't had any issues with it since then. It's been fine. Okay. Okay. There you go. And I don't have any problem with the speed of it. It's it might be slower. Hopefully it's not a hardware limitation. It, if it's a software thing, I mean, it'll be a quick fix, right? So I don't even think it needs to be. I think it's yeah. fine. You think it's fine? Yeah. I think it's fine. Now, do I think this is a big issue? No, I don't. As you can see, and as you can hear from uh, all the gentlemen here, this is not a huge deal. Uh, most likely something for people like in, us in the tech niche, tech reviewers, tech enthusiasts will probably notice this. And as I said before, the software is not final until the 28th. Hopefully it's not a hardware limitation, but I can't see Google using old hardware, old optical software. Keep in mind that the fingerprint sensor that is inside the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro is an optical sensor. It is not the same kind of technology that Samsung uses. Samsung uses a technology called ultrasonic that basically sends waves to read your fingerprint. Now we know with that kind of technology, at first it was very slow, it's actually very quick nowadays. I actually have it on the S21 Plus and I absolutely love it. It is quick, it is snappy. Normally optical, which is what the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro have, are very, very fast. So I think Google will probably push out a software update with this, make it faster, make it snappier. I really can't see them using old hardware technology in their flagship devices. If you found this helpful, hit that like button. Think about hitting that subscribe button as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Cheers. All right, cool. All right, that was a good one. All right.